We're at Burgundy Line with Toby, one of the owners. Um, we're here because you're going to teach me about whiskey. I know nothing about whiskey. First and foremost, what's the difference between whiskey, bourbon, and scotch? They're all whiskey. Uh, scotch is just scotch whiskey. Uh, there's Irish whiskey. Bourbon is just whiskey mostly made with corn from the United States. There's Canadian whiskey, which is mostly made from rye, but there's whiskeys made all over the world. Have you noticed that there's uh, um, more women drinking whiskey? It's not. I don't think it's any longer uh, a dad drink or a grandfather's drink. Have you noticed that? Well, that's actually really well put. It's not just about uh, women drinking whiskey. It's younger people drinking whiskey. Women are definitely part of that market. Uh, 10, 20, 15, 30 years ago, it was your grandfather's drink, your father's drink. Now it's younger people. Women are getting into it. It's more accessible to the entire market. I think that uh, there's, there's no reason why a woman, or anyone else for that matter, should not be trying whiskey at least and seeing if they enjoy it. I'm a wine person, and in wine, we go for the aroma. Est-ce que c'est velouté? It's corsets? It's fruity. Is it the same thing for whiskey? What are the epithets that you, you use for whiskey? Uh, absolutely the same thing. Uh, you know, you'll get different different flavors from the whiskey. You'll get vanilla, you'll get fruit, you'll get citrus. Uh, the only thing you'll also get that you don't necessarily get in wine when you're talking about corsé, I guess the equivalent of the corsé would be the smokiness, the peatiness of the whiskey, and that's just sort of an added, added taste profile to whiskey. I know you do tastings here. Have you noticed a difference in the people who come to the tastings? Uh, yeah, we do we do, do a monthly or bi-monthly tastings here. We've been doing them for seven years. Seven years ago, it was groups of four men, maybe with a with a fifth uh, plus one woman in the group. Uh, it's developed, and now there was a lot of dates with plus ones, a man and a woman, and now we have groups of five or six women who come to our tastings. So it is because there there is a, a movement of women whiskey clubs. So you've you've seen it. You can attest that it's it's not happening only elsewhere. It's also happening here in Montreal. Absolutely, it's happening in Montreal. Like I said, it's it's not your grandfather's drink anymore. It's for younger people, it's for women, it's for everyone. Okay, let's taste.